Let's speak to uh, our a biographer who's written about Putin for some time now. Uh, he's a biographer and writer, Professor Mark uh, yeah. Galeotti. I mean, we're talking about a Putin here who has completely disregarded world politics. He's done pretty much what he's wanted to. He's stayed in power either as prime minister or as president for 15, 20 years. Do people like Marika, do you think, hold the power, really? Is it about the people of Russia who, in the end, can put a stop to him? Look, it's tremendously difficult in a state like this for people power really to have an effect so long as the leader controls the security apparatus. I mean, that's this that the sad truth of the matter. And so far, at least, Putin does seem to control it. On the other hand, absolutely, people power in the long term always wins. And that's, for example, the lesson of what happened in the Soviet Union and the rest of the, of the Eastern Bloc states. But it tends to be a, a long, slow process, which eventually reaches a tipping point, when even figures within the elite decide, look, this cannot go on, this man is too dangerous. And although I don't think we should think that we're near that yet, Nonetheless, I think Putin is moving closer to that kind of point than we've ever really expected him to, because in the past, he was very cautious and risk averse. Mm. Now, what we see is very much an old man in a hurry. And, and that is scary, isn't it? We, we are hearing you people, I mean, all of us will say that he's a lunatic, he's a madman, he's a psychopath. I mean, is that true, do you think? I mean, is there, you know, it, he must think he's fairly rational. He must think he's doing everything uh, which is sensible and the right thing to do. Yeah, I think there's two things we need to consider. First of all, you know, we knew even before COVID, Putin's circle, the people he actually was listening to, got closer and tighter and smaller. And then COVID happened and he went into this extraordinary biosecurity sort of bubble, which meant that very, very few people have access to him. And on the whole, the people who do are the sort of ultra hawks who clearly were colouring his view. So, you know, even if he was entirely rational, Rational people can do deeply stupid and dangerous things if they're basing their decisions on fake or false or inaccurate or partial information. But there is a second thing. Again, I mean, I think in some ways, look, all authoritarian leaders over time become in some ways caricatures of themselves. They surround themselves with cronies. No one can tell them that they're wrong. And often they, they become like Putin, obsessed with his historical legacy. And I think that's what we're seeing now. That's what we're seeing in some ways a new Putin, an evolution and a much darker one in which he's willing to take risks because in a way there's no one to tell him that he really best not to. Um, uh, all right, Mark Galliotti, thank you very much for your time this morning. And Marika, please stay safe there in...